For those who celebrate New Year's in January, how about we have a resolution to change the training of police officers? I was born in this country, the United States of America, as well as my parents were. I'm a registered nurse. I've had training in psychiatric nursing as well as in other types of nursing. I have been a volunteer in a domestic violence center. I have over 35 years of experience as a nurse. And these are my suggestions for the hiring of police officers. First of all, you have a psychological test. In fact, you have a group of psychiatrists. We don't want people with anger issues. People with anger issues, maybe they can't help it, but it's not something that can be easily cured. Another thing is, and I'm not joking about this, you have them sit down and watch like 10 John Wayne movies and, and learn about gun etiquette and nobility and what, what a real man is. Like no shooting anybody in the back, no shooting women and children. No shooting unless you actually see a gun. Not like, you know, somebody's hol holding something that's in the, the same size as a gun. No. You need people as police officers who don't have an exaggerated fear of dying. You need someone whose priority is doing their duty. You know, maybe some other old movies would be a good idea, too. You know, the ones that have police officers walking in the neighborhood and knowing everyone in the neighborhood? Uh, a police officer who makes friends with the people in the neighborhood, especially the, the teenagers and the children. You know, they should be like, like a loving parent, but one who, like a parent in an emergency, can, you know, take care of things and calm things down or can use force if necessary. Please think about this. I'm embarrassed. I don't, I don't know what other countries think about us now. I mean, this is absurd. And do you really think that um, people are going to get along if they live in other neighborhoods and if they go to different schools and if and if uh, some neighborhoods are, are less value and have less opportunities in it, you know, it's not school busing. Um, that, that's ridiculous. People have to live in the same neighborhoods. When I went to college, I was told by an African-American fellow student that in order for him to live in a so-called white neighborhood, he would have to hire a lawyer. And I believe it. So I, I don't know of any other way things are going to change unless, unless you encourage it somehow and you have both all races and all religions living in the same neighborhoods. Come on, give, give some kind of incentive to people to do that. You know, they have states where where uh, it doesn't rain much and they don't want people to plant grass. You know, they want them to put pebbles there or concrete or, or, or something else, you know, to conserve on water. That's an incentive. Give people an incentive to all live together. Do something. There's a lot of brain power in this country. Use it. Stop making everything revolve around money. Think about it, please. Happy Hanukkah, um, happy Christmas, and um, 
what else can I say? <laughs>